Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Thursday. And guess what? I leave today. I leave this afternoon when Stephanie gets off work. And I have we talked we have we have talked about a vacation person. We talked about that before, right? A what? Being a vacation person. Yeah. But I am actually now a little bit more excited as it's as it's came down to it because we're going on a cruise. I tell I never do it again. Alaskan cruise with her, with her mom and everybody. But let me tell you why I'm excited. You tell me if this is this helps you. I honestly am a little more excited now because the things that we've been trying to do with the backyard getting stuff done, which I don't really pay a lot of attention to that. But like with the Red Sea, where we're going and kind of got that laid out, has taken a lot of. I'm just going to not even. I, I'm still going to think about it. But I feel like we're we're in the right, and I feel a lot ease about. It. Okay, I can go on vacation now, and I feel like it's going to be okay. Mm-hmm. That's really right the reason I don't like going to stuff because I'm like, it's going to screw something up. I ain't going to be able to be there to do something. All right, give us a joke. I I, I think everybody you, feels that way. Do you answer that question for? Do you feel that way? Because there's some people that are like, shit, no, man, I'm going on vacation. I don't care if the house burns. I'm gone. Well, I will say, as far as the backyard, we really have the people in place, and we have a support team. You know, CITS, uh, Creds Computers, all those guys kind of work with us. And that is true. You, you you already know that we pay CITS a little monthly fee that they come out and. Fix minor things. So if we're in a bind, we just give them a call. Come we on, we do out. that one. Dave can do it. Alpha, Alpha maintenance. All those guys have our back and and help us out. But older man comes walking in. Older man comes walking in. Here we and go. And it's breakfast time. Liking it. And he sits down on his side. He looks across at his woman. She ain't got no clothes on. Oh, I like it. It's, this is a good joke. And right she here. goes, honey. After all these years. You still make me hot. He went, no, baby, you, your tits and your coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I forget where I heard that, but I thought it was pretty cute. And the picture that you picture in your mind is even better. Uh, that was funny. But, yeah. Send us some jokes. I think that's going to be. That is, is gonna that's actually cute. People told us. That some of our that our shows wasn't funny anymore. Remember, some people have told us our shows ain't funny anymore. Can we use the f word? Yeah, fuck y'all. That, dad, I, I, no, I ain't kidding. gonna be for that. <laughs> but that was just because we're dad. Uh, and I'm glad they said it because they, after we thought about it, we went, yeah, we have kind of got on our soapbox lately. We and did. Just been ranting. And, we did. We did. You know. But what happened was, was I think a lot of our stories were... Oh, my God. I take that back. I didn't mean F you. It was, remember, it was Rhonda who told us that. Fuck her. No, I'm just kidding, Rhonda. <laughs> <laughs> so, but th- that made us think, and that's right. I forgot it was Rhonda. Appreciate that, Rhonda. Uh, and Shane. And Shane, But yeah. fuck Shane. But fuck Shane, yeah. But the deal was, we did it, and a lot of our stories back in the day were about us as we were in life situations. Well, yesterday, no, I'm sorry, because I'm going to give us a life situation, and we're going to go to it. Okay. Sunday, I, in my backyard, because you've already done it with the dogs, I had to, because we have, when it rains, the I had to re-put some crap at the bottom of my fence. Mm-hmm. And my fence is... Four foot tall, and it has three wires like bob wires, but there's no bob, bob barbs on them. So now I'm 50. I've done it many a times. I put the shovel over. I'm going to fix it, and I'm just going to hop over. Okay. Piece of cake. <laughs> okay. Actually, it was Monday because Stephanie was at work. Put my hands on the rail. Hopped up. Perfect as usual. <laughs> this foot, my right one, which is my first one to go over, Caught the very top wire, which meant the rest of my body went straight to the ground. (laughs) 
Perfectly, I might add. Perfect, and I hit, and thank the Lord, that's dirt, soft dirt over there. And I hit like a ton of bricks. And I hit in that hot dirt, and I rolled over, and I laid there, and I went. <laughs> God, man, is anybody watching me? But you know what it reminded me of while I was laying there? And I want you to tell the story. When I fell off the roof in Oklahoma City. I told, I told the, uh, the deal last week to Russell fighting them because oh. something happened to them. And and I made the story. It, we were putting on some the white roll cool sealant, and it started raining. And me and Pedro were up there doing it. We're on and top Russell's of a carrying, trailer, carrying a five gallon bucket to us. And we're trying to knock it out before the rain gets there. Well, we don't. Nope. And whew, he slides off that roof. Now I will say. If you'd have been the age you are now, you'd have died. I'd be dead. I agree. Because there was a barbecue pit right there. Yeah. And when he got to the edge, he pushed and went over that barbecue pit. And I feared for his life. <laughs> when I was in the air. <laughs> but once he was okay, holy moly, it was funny. They laughed so hard at me and I hit the ground just like I did out there with a ton of bricks and I took the five gallon bucket with me and it hit the ground and the white stuff went straight up oh, all in the people's yard but it I literally was hurt wind was knocked out I was laying there and they were standing I looked back because I was laying and they were standing on the roof like this and they when I went oh they started laughing <laughs> and my deal is do you laugh at your friends when they get Hurt. Now, I'm not talking in a car wreck. Yeah, once they're okay. But when you, you make fun. trip and fall, you hit your head, you know, uh, do you just laugh at them? Because we, we do it. We, we Let me do just it. tell you, anytime you have a staple gun, these stories are not working out. And you're trying to put some trim on the wall. Just, just another PSA. We're full of PSA. Usually, and I'm sure there's different, I'm but sure. usually I'm sure. you don't pull the trigger with your thumb. Yeah, you don't pull it that way. You don't, because that means it's backwards and going to shoot you right here. Thank God I had a hat on <laughs> with the hat right here. The, the nail stuck <laughs> in the hat. It literally stuck in the hat. And I was oh, like, hell, I remember that like it was yesterday. I was like, son of, and I was cussing because I was like, this stupid ass nail gun you got doesn't work. And I squeezed <laughs> it and it shot, it shot me right there. And it looked, and I looked over there and he started laughing and Pillow started laughing. Oh. And I was like, whew, that could have, <clears throat> that could have, it wouldn't have killed me, but it, it went into my head. So after that, he just quit working pretty much. I just We'd catch him stuff. sleeping under the uh, under a trailer house. I carry stuff. Where it's cool down there. And... Do you laugh at your friends? Do you make fun of your friends? Uh, I know if Jeffrey's watching this, I know he does. I know him and Brian. Him and Brian, yeah. They are like me and you, but they're a little more hardcore. They're a little more rougher than what we are. But I want to know, do you make fun of your friends? Do you laugh at your friends? <clears throat> Does your friend do stupid crap? Well, well, you got you got Chris that's their friend, too, that owns Legacy Trailer. Oh, yeah. And he, he's in that group, too. So, and I've been, I've been on some trips with them. And, yeah, yeah there's, no, there's no holes barred with, with those guys. That's, that's some of the, that's some of the, my biggest, yeah, mine's always bodily harm, dude. I always hurt myself. I hate talking about Gerald because he don't he don't have Facebook and stuff and yeah, don't get he to don't watch, watch it. But his was the best ever. If we made fun of him for every time he got hurt, we laugh all the time. He is hurt so much. We're gonna leave with this story. Okay. He went with us one time, and I think we've told this story. Yeah, we we've told it. But go ahead and tell. We it. went. Well, he went with us one time. We worked on the road on the mobile homes. And we had scaffolds up because we were stretching the roofs, pulling the wrinkles out. And he fell off the back of the scaffold, okay? Right where the front door is. Yeah, we have a scaffold, a two by 12, another scaffold that you walk between. Yeah. And he steps off and falls. And somehow, the screen, the door, the screen was up. Mm -hmm. 
So the people were there. And that son of a gun, somehow, we're working this way, the door's here. Somehow he fell off this way and went through the screen door and landed perfect. Inside. Inside their house. And didn't even get hurt. Didn't break nothing. Just fell off the top of the scaffold above Popped the door. Up like a uh, gymnast. And had to open the door and squeeze back out and shut. I have never in my life. And <clears throat> it's not like me at 5'7 slipping through there. It's him at 6'2 God dang right. slipping through there. And he went through. I was like, holy crap. <sighs> That's what I want to know. Do Speaking you, of Gerald. Do you Speaking of Gerald. Fun? Make sure and give us your joke. Yes. Give us your Info joke. Info at Red Sea Television. Thank you guys that have already sent it in. And we will start it when you get back. Yeah. Thank we'll you guys. We'll start implementing them at the end of the show. It's going to be funny. Hey, yeah, I, we got a few good ones. But thank you guys because they're gonna when I get back from vacation. Now remember, next week, <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm gone. I ain't back till Friday, so you're gonna have to just shoot them on your phone, shoot some stuff, just let them know what's going on. But we're gonna get out of here. Have a great weekend. What's going on at the backyard this weekend? Friday and Saturday. What's happening? Oh, uh, Roxy Roca is Saturday. And Friday is JB and the Moonshine Band. JB and the Moonshine Band. And they've been before. That's dude, good. I like those guys. They're good dudes. He, he, he puts on a show. You know, yeah. and he's got some really clever songs that are kind of sing-along songs. And he's just a super nice country dude. And to the person that sent me the direct message, which I'm not going to say your name, about getting air conditioning for the backyard after watching our show on Monday... Just kidding. It was a joke. He did good. It was funny. Had a quick jab at me, so I thought that was funny. But he's an asshole. Hey, it's cooler this week. It is. It's going to be nice. So, be a nice I weekend. think it would be nice to come out and watch JB. And don't forget Piano Man on Thursdays. That has turned into a huge night. Dang right. Finally. That's tonight. Yeah. Do you laugh at your friends? Until next week sometime, the following Tuesday, I am Russ. This is Chris.